Hello everybody and welcome to episode 9 of my walkthrough uh, Tokyo Extreme Racer 3. Uh, this one we're just going to jump right back into. We're going to go this way again. Okay. MR2 SW20, I believe it's called. Probably the future of these walkthroughs I do. I might find a topic to talk about really quick or give my brief opinion on something. Just so there's something really to discuss a bit. Mm, I guess something right off the top of my head it would be that chicka fill. Incident, or not incident, but uh, Chick Phil lend, uh, donating money to people who I believe were anti gay marriage. I believe it was. Not exactly sure. I only briefly looked at it. But uh, I'm not against gay marriage or anything, you know. I don't care what you are, if you want to marry, go ahead. But what I have a problem with is people making a huge deal about what people do with their own money. You know, he's a corporation, he has a business, he runs it. 
he can donate money to whomever he wishes. It is his money to do with what he wants. He could donate to the KKK wouldn't make a difference to the Nazi party. It's all the same, it's his money. If that's who he wants to give it to, you have to respect that wish. You know, it's not your money. What if he didn't like the money that you were donating to someone? A political party. Does... Are you gonna get annoyed with him because he gets all up in arms about you donating money to someone he doesn't want you to? It's your money. You donate it to whomever you wish. And, you know, people need to stop making a big deal about this. There's bigger problems with this country and with this world than what this guy's donating. He can give his freaking money to whomever he wishes. People need to get off his ass. It's just, it's one of those, of many, many things, one of many, that just, it just bugs me. It just makes me question, why are people doing this? Can't they see there's a bigger issue here? But, I mean, I guess I can't fully blame the people because the media make a big deal out of this. So as soon as the media makes a big deal out of it, of course the people are going to start making a big deal out of it. Right. Really, all I can see is the reason why they're making a big deal out of this is because they're just trying to give a distraction to other news that's going around. Uh, Ron Paul is... Uh, uh, audit the Fed bill passed, so they're going to be auditing the Fed, hopefully, finding out all the little dirty secrets about that privatized bank has been doing to our country while raping it. Finally, so on after all these years, it was, oh, God, how many years? 99 years. 1913, the Federal Reserve was put into place. 2012, so 99 years, and someone's finally standing up and saying, wait a second, these people aren't good. Sorry, but that's pretty fucking ridiculous that it's taken this long for someone to stand up and say, Hey, hold on a second. I don't care if you don't like Ron Paul or what he stands for. I'm not 100% for the guy. I don't believe in everything he stands for. But I respect him hugely because he, he says something, and then he goes and does it. And what he votes for, and all the time he's been in political politics and being and a politician, every time he says something, he stands up for it. He does it. He votes for it. I give that a huge amount of respect. He's one of one politician who actually does that now. I can't think of any other politician in all of America who actually will say something and then do it. really my quick opinion on it. Not really going to get into full on talking about it, but just a little quick opinion. There we go, another race done. Uh, well, we about nine minutes into this, so we can go and race this guy up here. Uh, my test drive view destruction uh, walkthrough is going by pretty quick, and it's not really that long of a game. So hopefully, well, this one is going to take a lot longer, two, three times longer probably. This might get into like the 40 episodes, 50 episode area. And by that time, some of the new games I've been waiting for will be coming out, so... Hopefully I can have this one finished and wrapped up by then. If not, it might take the side burner for a little bit.
Oh, yeah, we got time for one more race. That is an S15. First time we've seen one of these so far. I love the S15. If we beat it, we might be able to unlock it. Maybe that'll be my next car right there. That was a lot easier beat than I thought it would be. Well, here we go. I'm gonna call it quits there. 61.75, not bad. So, thanks for watching episode 10 or 9. There we go, 9, episode 9. Thanks for watching episode 9 and while I walk through Tokyo Stream Racer 3. Thanks for watching, see you again. Bye.